Hi guys and welcome to another prop tutorial. Um, so today's prop tutorial is on the new Capaldi Sonic. Um, now this is something that I've knocked up in 11 hours, I think, probably 12. Um, and this was, I mean I've been doing this, I've, as you can probably hear my voice is a little bit air. Um, I've had a bit of a cold the past few days so I've not really been sort of in the mood to do a lot. Um, but it's been a bit boring sort of sitting indoors so I decided to do something to pass the time um, so this was the finished result um, as you can see um, so this was quite a simple prop um, in respect of um, sort of parts although it did take a little bit of thinking on what to use admittedly um, <clears throat> so if I run through um, the, the Sonic itself. Uh, we'll start with the, the base um, base part here. So here you've got a screw um, and then this is a pen um, end here which you push down um, and then this bit here is an uh, aerial bit so you should um, that bit there I can actually unscrew that bit there so that uh, just screws into there and as you can see there this bit screws into this central handle bit here so and that's basically um, this bit here I'm not sure what this was from but it's just something I had lying about in one of my boxes um, and there's a washer there this is an old whiteboard marker pen um, and so I cut that down um, and that was for that part um, admittedly when I started building this um, I think I probably should have left the pen uh, longer and then cut it down a bit more um, to the size that it needed to be because this bit here the uh, bit here um, which has got the holes in is meant to be eight but there's only six on this bit because um, this bit is off of one of the interchangeable toys from character options um, and the original as I say has eight so um, what I think I should have done was kept the pen longer and then cut the eight holes um, to make it better um, because it's actually meant to be the same size as well so uh, there's a slight size difference on the two parts um, these sort of leg bits here um, are just um, made out of tin can um, so they weren't too difficult to make um, <coughs> The uh, section here um, is an old um, charger for a um, phone. So it's an external one you put in your thing and you charge it up. Um, I just cut that down to size. Um, and this has got the switch here, which if I flick it, uh, you'll see it's got a few functions. That's quite fast. And then it's a bit slower. And then it's static. And then off. Um, now on the original um, it's got um, some bits that it's, the lights actually spin round, uh, they rotate, um, although there is one where it pulsates so the second one on this where it pulsates is a bit closer I suppose, um, but I think that the Sonic is going to have a variation of settings um, and light functions on it when it's done. Um, so these two gold pieces here, um, so these two here are two buttons and a washer in between the two to give it that gap um, and then the buttons underneath this bronze uh, gold um, washer bit that I found um, and then this bit here on top of the silver bit is a bottle top um, now you'll probably notice and recognize these bits here, these um, little bits of the claws off of 11 Sonic and I've just put some bolts on there um, and they've got little cardboard um, bits here um, so and there's a bit of tin that goes around the top and joins up at the back um, there I mean the, that was um, yeah that was the simplest way of making those that I could think of um, because looking at the actual um, one um, they're, they're made up of little individual pieces which would have been really really tricky to make um, and then the emitter top um, I think it to be honest looks a little bit too long um, from the reference images that I've been looking at um, so I may well cut that down a bit shorter um, but basically um, inside the lights that are in there um, which are all sitting 
at the bottoms of the straws, which is what this emitter is made out of. So these straw, there's a pen that goes up through the middle um, with um, these straws that sit on the side to make the, um, the tip sort of anger, um, and they just glue gunned in place. And then these ones are left straight and um, hollow, like um, the actual prop. Um, <coughs> and they're, they're green um, to give it the look that they're slightly coloured uh, when it's off and give it a bit of a colour when it's flashing or it's static on. Um, the, the light itself comes out of one of Poundland's bike lights um, and all I did was um, wire them up inside this block square unit here. Um, wire them up to the switch here um, which I need to make a cover for at some point which I'm debating about what to use um, and that's just wired up and glued in place um, and um, the only other bit that's missing on this is some rings that go around here there's one up here one in the middle and one at the bottom um, so there's something else I'm gonna have to make um, I've got to work out what to use um, so yeah um, as I say it took 11 hours to make um, I'd say sort of size wise it's about right um, surprisingly this handle bit which is where you sort of hold it from um, is actually quite comfortable to hold um, which I was quite surprised about because I did think about oh, well, how are you going to hold it but uh, yeah it's sort of hold it like that and uh, you sort of end up being alright put your lights on and uh, yeah I mean I'm pretty happy with how it's turned out um, it'll certainly be a stand-in until character options release theirs, which uh, they should be doing very soon. Um, but yeah, um, for for sort of passing the time while I've been a bit ill, um, it's been a nice little project to work on um, and something uh, to do before Christmas. Um, and you know, because I've been struggling to sort of figure out what props to make recently, um, and being being a lot of um, schematic drawings about the the, uh, the Sonic and reference pictures, um, I took those and used those to my advantage. Um, and this Sonic has cost me nothing. It is all bits and pieces that I've had around the house, um, so there is nothing on here that's cost me anything. Um, so yeah, that's another good reason. That, um, and I'm glad that it's turned out this way. And I must say, it, it's a Sonic I'm actually starting to grow to like. Uh, the original picture, of, well, when I originally saw it, I was a little bit unsure and didn't really think much of it. But actually now I've sort of looked at it more um, and sort of seen what it looks like and how it's made and stuff. Actually, uh, yeah, it's actually a Sonic that I think I'm, I, I quite like. Um, although I think it's... Uh, quite a bit bigger than the uh, Matt Smith version um, even in extended mode I think that would probably come to about here um, so I think it's slightly bigger um, although this obviously doesn't extend um, so it would be interesting to see what functions it has in the show um, and um, there is apparently a new sound for it which I'll put in the video now that's probably long enough um, so yeah, um, hopefully um, you know you've enjoyed this video. Um, like to say Merry Christmas to everyone. Um, I hope you have a really nice Christmas and a good New Year. Um, and I think this will probably be the last video on the channel for this year. Um, so hopefully there'll be some new tutorials in the in the uh, new year. Um, and hopefully the audio series will also get um, somewhere further um, I have been working on a few episodes um, so hopefully that can progress somehow um, and we'll get somewhere soon um, so yeah cheers for watching guys uh, please like comment and subscribe and see you in the next one